What's up guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to install multiple Tor browsers in your PC computer. Uh, as you may know, Tor is useful to uh, hide your IP and browse securely and uh, safely uh, in the internet. Uh, it's like other browsers, but it hides uh, your IP address. and gives another IP address to, to the other end or to your ISP uh, or even governments. So uh, the first step is just checking out the Tor uh, website. You just need to uh, search for that in your Google uh, search box. Uh, this is the website. And uh, for the PC, you just need to download for Windows. Uh, you hit this button at, uh, and uh, it uh, downloads uh, the executable file, which is this one. This is the most recent version. Uh, you click on this and you install your first Tor browser. So that's the first step you need to install the Tor browser. Uh, so far, it's a standard procedure. You have uh, installed uh, one Tor browser uh, in your system uh, and that's the default approach. You cannot just simply click and uh, I mean one more time on this and install the second Tor browser. You have to do some uh, specific tasks uh, to install the second Tor browser which is independent of the first one and uh, uh, also provides a separate uh, independent IP address. Uh, to do that, I provided the steps here in a notepad file. I also provided these steps uh, down below this video in, in the description section of this video. So you can also follow these steps. Uh, the first step is you install uh, the second one, but you have to close uh, any Tor browser window that you already uh, opened. So here we have one open uh, Tor browser. I just close it. So uh, that's just the first step. Uh, you install the Tor as if you want to install it for the first time. So you hit OK. This is important step. Uh, you see here, that's the default uh, path for Tor browser, but I'm not gonna uh, actually proceed with this path. I just change it to uh, this path. I created a folder named all Tors. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. Since I want to have a cleaner and neat desktop, uh, I created this folder and put all the Tor browsers inside this folder. Uh, okay. Uh, as you see here, I already installed uh, one Tor browser and I'm gonna install the second one. So it shouldn't have the same name. Therefore, I call it Tor Browser 2. And I install it. So as you see, it is extracting the components. And it's creating the second folder. Okay, just wait a second before hitting the finish button. Uh, we just performed the second uh, step and we are on the third step. After installation, uncheck run for uh, Tor browser and also add a start menu and desktop shortcuts. So we uncheck this. We don't want to run a Tor browser now and we don't want to add a shortcut to the desktop. So we uncheck and we hit finish. 
So we have the second Tor browser, but it is not ready to use as an independent uh, Tor browser from the first installation. So we go to the fourth step, open the newly installed Tor browser. So this is the newly installed one. I just open it. For the first time when you install uh, a Tor browser, uh, it asks you to connect or configure. Uh, for countries without any censorship and restrictions, uh, you just simply hit connect. For other countries with censorship, you have to configure uh, some uh, properties, which we are not going to talk about here. Just hit connect and it's, it's connecting to a Tor Relay and performing necessary and required steps to open the Tor browser for the first time. Okay, you have uh, the browser opened, but we go back to the steps. Uh, so we completed a step three, open and step four. So type about config and click on accept the risk and continue. So I just copy it. You type it here, you just press enter. You accept the risk and continue. And here we go to step six set media autoplay default as zero. So that's a property of Tor browser. So you just copy this and paste it here, hit enter. Okay, the default value is one. So you just wanted to change it to zero and then hit this button. So you put it as zero. That's for step six, step seven, change the values of these parameters. So this parameter to, we change the value to 9052. And remember uh, 52, the figure two uh, in 52 refers to the second Tor browser. So for the third Tor browser, it's going to be 9053. For the fourth one, 9054 and so on. This is the second Tor browser. So it is 9151. So you change it to 9052. 9052. Another parameter is this one. So you change it to 9152. Then you hit this button. After changing these values, close the Tor browser. So you just close this one. Uh, so we are not done yet. We go to step eight after uh, step nine sorry go to the following folder okay uh, if you follow the default folder this is the one for you if you created an additional folder to put all the browsers inside you follow this one and the admin here may change from computer to computer probably in your computer it's your name so let's try this one we are on step nine. So we go to Tor browser, browser, and then Tor browser, data, and Tor. So we are, as you see, we are in this path. Desktop, all tours, Tor browser number two, browser, Tor browser, data and Tor. On step 10, we open this file using Notepad++ or uh, if you have any other software, but Notepad++ is the 
open source free software that you can simply uh, download and install on your system. So I right click on this file. As you see, this is the file. You right click on this and you open with Notepad++. And the file is opened. Uh, here is the content of the file. So we go to uh, step 11. In the last line, line 20, go to the last column of the last line. So it means that line 20, you just scroll to the right. And in here, click on the last character. And uh, at step 12, add the following to the rest of the line, starting with a comma. So we have this comma, SOX port 9152. As you remember, here we have SOX port as 9152 and control port as 9052. So we just copy this line and we go to this file and just paste it. So be careful, you have to click on the last character and then paste it. So you see a comma and then these values. You save the file. And we close it, okay. We can keep it open or we can close it. Repeat the above steps for tour number three and four and so on. So this was, you know, changing these numbers uh, was the last step. And remember that for the third tour, you need to use these numbers, 9053 and also 9153 for SOXPORT. For tour number four, it's going to be 9054 and 9154 and so on. Uh, and you can install as many uh, tours as you wish. And they all have a uh, uh, actually independent IPs. So let me just close this one here. Doesn't matter. And uh, we have this one, tour number two. Let me just test that. We have the first original tour, which we follow as standard procedures to install. Yes, this is tour number one. Let's see what IP address we get from this one. Find ip.net. There are many websites that you can use. I usually like this site. So this is the IP address from tour, the original one, tour number one. And uh, we have the second tour installed. I just click on start for browser. Remember, with, uh, without these steps, you cannot have independent tour browsers and independent IDs. And even it doesn't open, it gives you a warning message. So I use findip.net. And you see that it uh, opens successfully with this velvet color. Okay, yeah, let me just, this is number two. This is number one. And we have different IP addresses here. This one and this one, two different IP address from two different countries. And uh, if you want to change the IP address, you just hit the new identity without closing and reopening from scratch. You just hit the new identity, which is faster. All right, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, we covered all the steps required to install uh, several Tor browsers with independent separate IP addresses. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. And uh, if you uh, subscribe to our channel, you can see more videos like this. Please, if you have any comments or questions, uh, please ask and uh, we try to reach you as soon as possible. Thank you.